Now then, people, Joe All Leeds TV, and it's time for your Leeds versus Chelsea post match chat. Look, best team won. Uh, Chelsea dominated the second half for me personally. We were a totally different side. We just weren't at the races second half. If we're being honest, looking at, I mean, Chelsea created the most chances against us this season thus far. You know, and we know we give up a lot of chances, but Chelsea created so many. And if we're being totally honest, should have had a couple more. And it's interesting because obviously if you look at the Everton game, you look at the Arsenal game, we're saying that about ourselves tonight. That wasn't the case. I can't really remember any chances of note in that second half. It was just backs to the wall. Um, there was some good defending at times as well. Cooper got us out of um Got us out of trouble a few times for me. I thought he, I thought Cooper had a pretty decent game. I know he was a bit lax for the the goal from Zuma, just on corners as well. Ah, every time Chelsea had a corner, I thought they were going to score. You know, if I'm in the ground, obviously we're doing a watch along and we have to watch it and that. But if I'm in the ground, it's one of them. You know, I'm not looking. You know, like when you get a penalty corners, we just can't seem to defend them. We've never been great at them anyway under. Marcelo Bielsa, it's just one of them things. Um, and look, Chelsea have um, quality in abundance in the box. Zuma's got like six goals, I think, maybe this season, all coming from corners. I may be wrong. Um, and and it's a bit of a bullet header. Cooper thinks he was fouled. I think it's soft. Um, and, and the 2-1 up. Just to bring it back as well, what a start. Like, Chelsea pressed high. They had a corner. Giroud should probably score. And then a sort of against the run of play. I know it's only five minutes in. I think Bamford scores after three minutes. Um, uh, what a ball by KP. I think it's Harrison dinks it out on the left to Calvin. Calvin first time past Zuma, who he does for pace. I know Oscar made a point saying he ain't that fast. And a lot of Chelsea fans came for him in the comments saying he's one of the fastest defenders in the league. He's certainly not that. Bamford did him for pace and Bamford isn't fast. He goes round Mendy, Leeds United score. And I'm thinking, look, Leeds United have only ever lost once under Bielsa when we've gone in front. I'm feeling confident. Um, and what a finish by Bamford as well. Big shout out, Patrick Bamford. I thought he was good tonight. Um, he had a couple of chances. I think when Rodrigo came on, he, he, he did a cutback. He tries to wrap his... I think he's trying to hit it with the right, uh, the outside of his right foot. And he's just not great on his right. Um, I thought when Rodrigo came on as well, he... when it. The, the small amount of chances that we did create in the second half, I think two or three at a push, um, were due to Rodrigo and him picking it up and his movement. Um, I thought Rafinha was doing a great job on the right as well. I understand you want to keep fullbacks guessing, but for me, Rafinha stay on the right. You're giving Chil Chilwell a torrid time. Harrison wasn't great tonight. I don't understand why they switched wings. I thought Reese James was difficult for anyone to get round. When Perveda comes on and he goes on the left hand side, he's trying to get round the man mountain at times. You know, I thought Reese James was really great. Again, when he when he when he plays in the ball uh, for for Giroud, I think it's Harrison that, that misses the run. It happened a few times on that right hand side. They are dangerous from the right. Um, Rich James always puts great deliveries into the box, and I thought he was great tonight. Uh, I, I think Mason Mount was decent as well. I was impressed with Mason Mount. Kai Havertz, mm, not not so much. I mean, Werner could have had a couple if it weren't for Ilan Melier, by the way, and Lichat. You know, Lichat. He's, what a steal at four million. What a goalkeeper. You know, what a goalkeeper. If it weren't for him, it could have been more tonight. You know, Werner, I mean, just on Werner, how he misses that chance in the first half is beyond me. I don't know who it is who gets the header. Werner sort of like stops it going in the net in the first place. I think it's probably going in. And then he somehow hits it under the, the underside of the crossbar. Um, but look, when, when Leeds play as we do and you've got pace merchants like Werner, uh, etc. coming at you, of course, they're going to create chances. We've seen that. We've seen that against Leicester. We've seen that against Palace and it happened tonight. It's unfortunate. I just think second half, we were second best um, to the to the second balls. Just everything fell Chelsea's way. And listen, they've got a quality side. They've got a quality side. Fair play, Chelsea. Fair play, Frank Lampard. It is what it is. Um, I think that we, we have to look at the Perveda situation. Um, when Perveda came on, I don't think he was great, but there's that one where he has the team effort and um, where he cuts inside. I think it's Chilwell who makes the challenge and he stays on his feet. Which you say fair play and people want to see um, players staying on the feet. But at the same time, 
if he goes down, Leeds United get a penalty, possibly make it to all and get a point at Stamford Bridge. That's the truth of it. Yes, it would have been against the run of play, but we, we come away with a point, possibly. There were still moments in the game left to play and Chelsea could have gone and got another. Um, but if he goes down, he, he gets a pen. And when he does make the run as well, there's probably a pass on to click as well. Um, could we bring on Rodrigo sooner? Yes, I think Rodrigo needs to start the next game. I don't think Alioski had a poor game personally. It was just, it was always going to be difficult. And I said on the stream, I don't know if anyone agrees with this, I'd have preferred Alioski to stay on just because he's got more pace than what Dallas was. And at times when Werner gets on, he's puts on the afterburners, Dallas is left for dust. I think I'd have kept Alioski on, just my personal opinion. Um, obviously, ZH gets injured as well. He'd have caused us problems all night. They bring on Pulisic. Let's not forget, Pulisic costs more than our first team. You know, even when you think about Habits, their record signing like 75 million or something like that, you don't even need to go that high to see the, the level of quality they've got in terms of bringing players on or, or just their starting 11. You know, um, Pulisic costs cost more than this Leeds United side or the first 11. The first 11. Um, injury to Cock, obviously, we all didn't think he would make it anyway. He turns out he plays. He's obviously gone off. I thought Laurenti was decent. There was a few hospital passes, um, but he didn't shirk confidence. He was doing Cruyffies at one point up against Giroud. Um, and I, I'm impressed. I was impressed with him. Um, just on Giroud as well. Giroud, obviously, he's come out and said in these post-match pressure, it's the best team he's played for a very, very long time. Said we're a great side. Um, so, so to hear that from someone, that, that, that's nice to hear as well. But ultimately, we, we we haven't got anything from the game. But as a Leeds United fan, you can't, you don't expect it. Like I haven't expected anything from the game on the face of it. You know, I'm saying on Twitter, I think fair play Chelsea, the the, the beaters, and they deserve to win the game. We move on. We play West Ham on Friday. We try and get three points. It is what it is. You know, Chelsea are, are expected to win the game. Of course they are. When we score first, I mean, what a goal it was as well by Patrick Bamford. I don't think I've celebrated one like that for a long time. On a watch along, anyway. <laughs> Maybe Roos against Derby in that in that first leg. Um, but yeah, it just wasn't to be. I just think second half, we were just second best. That's where we lost it, second half. Maybe we ran out of steam a little bit. Um, Chelsea, I think, the only team to, to run more than us this season. The only team to create, or sorry, the, the 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 team that created the most chances against us. Chelsea were on it tonight. And fair play to them. You know, I thought that you, you could tell straight away they were just pressing relentlessly. Um and when you when you when you pass us in the final third or off, know that Kante is gonna mop them up. You know, I, I call KP the mop. Kante is next level mop, you know. He's like bloody, I don't know, Dyson mop. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's next level. So know that if you are misplacing passes, then Kante is going to nip him away from you. You know? Um, I thought, look, I, I think we were getting joy on that left-hand side up against Chilwell. And I think, the, I don't know, I, I think maybe Rafinha should stay out there. I thought Rafinha was okay. Um, we tried to press that in the second half as well. It looked like Click was playing alongside Bamford trying to press. But... Chelsea were just too good in the end in that second half. Um, it's really hard for me to say, um, <laughs> but you, you can only say what you see. Um, Chelsea 3-1 winners at Stamford Bridge. The London curse continues. Um, but as Cooper said in his post-match, and as uh, the majority of Leeds fans are saying, best team won. Came up against a better side, better quality of position. And of course, as we've seen, we do... Ship chances, we do. We also create a lot as well. Um, didn't create much in that second half. There was one, I think, Rodrigo, he sort of puts it through. I think it might be Silver's legs and Bamford just can't get on the end of it. Of course, there's a well-worked corner, which is nice to see, um, where it comes to Rafinha. He hits it first time. I think Mendy's probably saving it, but Thiago Silva, class centre-back, you know, puts his foot in, it falls back to Rafinha and he just puts, puts too much on it. Um but it's fine, you know, I'm not I'm not too downbeat, you know. Um, we didn't deserve to get anything from the game on the face of it. Um, it is what it is. We move on um, and we go back to home games now against um, West Ham and Newcastle. Hopefully we get, you know, some positive results from them. We're back on it. But, yeah, better team won tonight. Can't say fairer than that. 
Make sure you keep it locked to All Leeds TV. Thank you everyone for watching on the watch along. We had some crazy numbers tonight. Smash a like on the video, share and subscribe if you're not subscribed. We'll do our uh, live player ratings probably tomorrow. It's late night and then we'll see you obviously Monday night football. But thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you in a bit. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. <laughs>